Tyler here with GP Knives, and today we have the Wii Knives Rectifier. This is a CPM S35 VN blade, titanium frame lock flipper. It's a great little workhorse of a knife, perfect for everyday carry. It's got a very slim design with a relatively tall blade height for extra durability. You can see it's got a very thin blade stock and a shallow hollow grind for excellent slicing performance and a nearly full-length swedge for a very fine tip, excellent for detail work and piercing tasks. You got a G10 front scale for durability and traction, a partial titanium backspacer with lanyard hole, full titanium frame lock construction with a hardened steel lock face insert for smoothness in operation. Ceramic ball bearing pivot allows for fast and smooth deployment, both via that index flipper and the thumb hole on the blade. And then for carry, we have a 3D machined titanium pocket clip that can be reversed for either right or left hand tip up only carry. We've got blue anodized hardware for a pop of color and a little close up look of that here. These are Torx head, so that is going to increase the ease of adjustment and maintenance on this knife. We do have a hardened steel lock face insert here with over travel prevention and overall this is going to be a great lightweight everyday carry knife capable of excellent cutting performance and now we'll take a quick look at the rectifier with a few other knives first we'll look at it with the spiderco chaparral in raffier noble similar size on both of these knives you're going to see a little more cutting edge on the rectifier similar overall blade length there where you'll really notice a similarity is in the blade stock thickness. And this is pretty impressive as it's probably one of the thinnest blades I've seen on a production folder. So excellent slicing performance from both of these. A little thinner behind the edge thanks to that high height hollow grind on the rectifier. Functional grip area is going to be fairly similar. A little bit longer on the rectifier, especially considering that end lanyard hole there and the handle thickness is a little bit thicker on it as well and then we'll take a quick look at it also with the spider code delica so very comparable in size here you're going to get a similar blade and cutting edge length blade thickness is going to be a little thinner as you can see both tapering to a fine tip there handle thickness is almost identical on these two and then the functional grip area is going to be just a little shorter on the rectifier, but still capable of getting a nice full four-finger grip. And you can always add a lanyard for a little extra real estate there at the end. And here you can see the rectifier in my pocket. The 3D machine tie pocket clip provides very secure carry and smooth draw from the pocket. The Knife does protrude somewhat from the top of the pocket and the bright blue hardware does draw the eye somewhat, but the overall compact size of the knife makes it excellent for carry and use. And we have four different variations of this knife right now. We have a black and satin two-tone with black G10. We have a two-tone with stonewash on the grinds and swedge and then satin on the flats and again black g10 we've got the one we saw from the beginning the two-tone black and satin with od green g10 and then we've got tan g10 with that tumbled and satin two-tone blade again this is tyler with gp knives and the Wii Knives Rectifier in CPM S35VN. You can check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching, and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below, and click the icon at the bottom right-hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.